And I, I did what anybody would do in that situation. I took myself off to the doctors and I, you know, I ran, I asked her to run some bloods on me because I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, I, I can't move. And she said, oh, you're fine. Everything's normal. Your bloods are all normal. You're just depressed. Uh. Here are some antidepressants. And I literally couldn't move. I was paralyzed with exhaustion. Um, I remember at my worst, I couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. Just turning Jesus. over in my bed was just exhausting. The thought of brushing my teeth, going to the loo, literally it just couldn't bear it. And I, I lost my drive, my motivation. Even Jeez. small tasks were challenging. One, uh, one day we had a concert in Oxford with the orchestra and I really, really didn't want to play. So what I did was I deliberately left my violin at home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to outsmart my mum. And we got oh. there. And she was like, Rosie, where's your violin? I was like, oh, I think I left I it at home. It. So <laughs> <easy>. <laughs> she, was she was so angry. She literally made me sit in the orchestra. And everybody was playing around me. And I was just sitting there, not playing. Oh, my goodness. Looking like a complete idiot. Just, I just felt like I was so humiliated. I just, and these are the three things that I teach everybody now how to recover. And I always say that if you're not changing those three things, you're not going to recover. So th those are like the three building blocks to recovery. So I had to eat around the clock. I had to increase my food intake. I had to sleep. I had to be really... Um, vigilant about my sleep I at one point I was taking 40 pills a day like 40 supplements because when you're burnt out all of your nutrient levels are really depleted so particularly sodium potassium magnesium b vitamins but yeah we would just try and leverage it as much as possible and we would turn up you know we would literally wear the same makeup wear the have the same clothes we would I remember we were both bought these hideous bright green cardigans so that we would stand out <laughs> And we would always That's have to clearer. plan what we were wearing. We have to get like pictures for the portfolio and we were constantly taking photos and updating our portfolio and sending out our pictures to everybody. And <laughs> yeah, it was a really interesting time for two reasons. I didn't want to come across as weak. <laughs> I don't ever want to come across as, as, as dependent and non-independent. And I, uh, I felt guilty. I didn't want to ask for help. I definitely think that we are all walking time bombs for what burnout more and more. And that is because we live in an overworked, over overwhelmed society. And we are full of micro pressures every single day from the minute we wake up to the moment we go to bed. So we had the best time playing in that tree house. And then we would uh, fall into the fields at, at the back as well and play hide and seek. And we oh, would dear. roll these massive haystacks and push them all into the center of the field and build <laughs> homes. And then the farmers would come in their tractors and like literally be so angry and we would bolt and hide <laughs> in the treehouse. <laughs> we would literally, and they would be like, we can see you and shout at us in the fields. And we would be like hiding in the treehouse going like, oh. you know, so really fun, silly things. But if yeah. I could get up on stage and teach people how not to burn out every single day, I would. I absolutely love it. I just thrive. I'm so passionate and the reason I've stepped away from clinic and now I'm much more on stage and public speaking is because I just want to spread my message to more people.